Hi and welcome to part 1 of the video on software engineering interview questions and answers from careerlight.com. Define software engineering. Software engineering is the application of a proper approach to development, operation and maintenance of the software. This approach should be systematic, disciplined and quantifiable. What are the various types of software? The various types of software are system software, application software, embedded software, web applications, artificial intelligence software, scientific software, etc. What do you understand by software development life cycle? It is a process of creating systems and methodologies and models that people use to develop software. The STSC consists of many kinds of software development methodologies. The various phases of SDLC are initiation, requirements analysis and gathering, design, development, testing, implementation and maintenance and support. Why is SDLC important? SDLC is important for following reasons. 1. It serves as a guide to the project. 2. It provides a flexible and consistent medium to accommodate changes and perform the project to meet client's requirements. 3. SDLC phases define key schedule and delivery points, ensuring timely delivery within the budget and other constraints. And fourth, it cooperates project control and management activities in each phase of the cycle. What is SDLC model? What are the most well-known SDLC models? An SDLC model defines implementation of an approach to the project. It defines the various processes and phases that would be carried out throughout the project to produce the desired output. There are a variety of SDLC models that exist catering to different needs and characteristics of a project. Some of the well-known SDLC models are Waterfall model, Software prototyping, Rapid action development, Extreme programming and End user development. Describe waterfall software development life cycle model. Waterfall is a sequential and non-iterative STLC model which describes flowing of phases downwards one by one. The process does not start a phase unless the previous phase is fully complete. The waterfall model consists of the following phases. 1. Requirements gathering. 2. Design. 3. Construction. 4. Integration. 5. Testing, 6. Implementation and 7. Support. What are the strengths of the waterfall model? The strengths of waterfall model are No planning is needed. Works well for small projects with fixed and clear requirements. Lesser cost as planning overheads are less. Quick delivery of the complete system. What are the weaknesses of waterfall model? The weaknesses of waterfall model are 1. It is inflexible. 2. Accommodating changes is very difficult. 3. Longest tangible delivery time. The customer does not see anything but the whole product when it's ready. 4. Not suitable for large projects and where requirements are not clear. When do you suggest to use the waterfall model? One should use the waterfall model only when the requirements are very clear and fixed. There are no ambiguous requirements. Ample resources with required expertise are available freely. The client has high confidence in the organization. The organization is experienced in similar projects and the project is short. Describe V-shaped software development life cycle model. The V-shaped software development life cycle model is an extension of the waterfall model. The waterfall model moves linearly downwards. Whereas in V-shaped model, phases are turned upwards after coding phase to form the V-shape. It demonstrates relationship between each phase of SDLC and its respective testing phase. Unlike waterfall model, the V-shape includes early test planning. What are the various phases of V-shaped model? The V-shaped model actually consists of three phases. Verification, coding and validation. Verification phase is on the left side of the V-shape. It consists of requirements analysis, system design, architecture design and module design. After this, 
the coding is performed which is at the bottom of the v-shaped model the validation phase is on the right side of the v-shape it consists of unit testing integration testing system testing user acceptance testing what are the strengths of the v-shaped model the strengths of v-shaped model are it is simple and easy to use every phase has clear and fixed deliverables higher chances of success are there as test planning starts early in the sdlc quickest for projects where requirements are fixed and clearly defined what are the weaknesses of the v-shaped model the weaknesses of the v-shaped model are it is inflexible changes in requirements are very hard to accommodate no early prototypes are available and it needs ample skill resources when would you recommend the use of v-shaped model the v-shaped model should be used for small to medium sized project where requirements are clearly defined and fixed the model accommodates more planning for test than waterfall but makes accommodation of changes harder than other models the v-shaped model should be chosen when ample technical resources are available with needed technical expertise since no prototypes are produced there is a very high risk involved in meeting customer expectations therefore confidence of customer should be very high in order to choose the v-shaped model approach tell us something about prototype software development life cycle model prototype stlc model is based upon creation of a software prototype of the complete system and then refine and review it continuously till the complete acceptable system is built what are the various phases of prototype model the various phases involved in a prototype model are identify some requirements to begin with to develop initial prototype three review the prototype and then revise and enhance the prototype what are the strengths of the prototype model the strengths of prototype model are it gains customers confidence as developers and customers are synchronized with each other's expectations continuously it is ideal for online systems where high level of human computer interaction is involved it is very flexible as changes and requirements can be accommodated much more easily with every new review and refining it helps the developers and users both understand the system better software built through prototyping needs minimal user training as users get trained using the prototypes on their own from the very beginning of the project integration requirements are very well understood and deployment channels are decided at a very early stage what are the weaknesses of the prototype model the weaknesses of the prototype model are one focusing on the prototype can mislead developers from understanding the actual desired system two end users get confused believing the prototype to be the complete system three developers might misunderstand end users objectives four developer might get too involved in prototype and deviate from the actual system as the prototype must be converted into expensive as prototypes need a lot of effort and time tell us something about rapid application development software development life cycle model this model involves iterative development along with creation of prototypes it involves interactive use of techniques and prototypes to define users requirements and system design clearly structured techniques are used to create initial design models based on user input and prototypes are built on top of that the end users and analysts use the prototypes to validate and enhance the requirements and design models the process lasts till a set of final technical requirements and design models have been created what are the various phases of rad model the various phases involved in rapid application development model are business modeling data modeling process modeling application generation testing and turnover what are the strengths of rad model the strengths of rapid application development model are reduced development time increases reusability of components high modularization achieves a more flexible and maintainable system gets quick initial reviews encourages customer feedback integration begins from the very beginning it solves a lot of integration issues business owners actively participate in this model what are the weaknesses of the red model the weaknesses of rapid application development model are it depends on 
strong team and individual performances for identifying business requirements only system that can be modularized can be built using this model it requires highly skilled developers and designers it has high dependency on modeling skills it is inapplicable to cheaper projects as cost of modeling and automated code generation is very high tell us something about incremental software development life cycle model incremental stlc approach suggests construction of a partial system rather than a complete system and then build more functionality into it requirements and features are prioritized and categorized and then implemented in phases each phase based on the waterfall model the process continues till the complete system is ready what are the various phases of incremental model the various phases of incremental model are same as the waterfall model that is requirements design implementation testing maintenance here the phases are repeated incrementally as business value is delivered incrementally as well for every single phase and increment a waterfall model is followed the waterfall model is then put in a cycle of increments along with verification of requirements and design what are the strengths of the incremental model the strengths of incremental model are there is a possibility to develop high risk business features first every increment delivers an operational product customers confidence is high as they validate every increment and provide feedback low initial delivery cost changes in requirements can be accommodated easily it is more flexible than waterfall model what are the weaknesses of the incremental model the weaknesses of incremental model are it needs good planning and design it needs a clear and complete definition of the complete system before it can be broken down and built incrementally integration needs are very high total cost is higher than waterfall model when would you recommend to use the incremental model the incremental model should be used when major requirements of the complete system are clearly defined and understood the product is required early in the market a new technology is being used resources with needed skill set are not available there are some high risk features and goals involved tell us something about spiral software development life cycle model the spiral stlc model combines components of both design and prototype in phases it's a hybrid of waterfall and prototyping model what are the strengths of spiral model the strengths of spiral model are early identification of potential risk areas customer sees a prototype very early in the stlc critical and risky features are built first for risk mitigation and clarifying requirements design can evolve with iterations feedback from users helps maintain their expectations cost is assessed frequently which gives better planning what are the weaknesses of the spiral model the weaknesses of spiral model are it is not suitable for small or low budget projects as cost is high for identifying risks time spent on risk planning and prototyping may not be as efficient it is quite complex spiral may continue indefinitely it is hard to define clear milestones which allows the sdlc to move to the next phase developers must have other work during non development phases when would you recommend to use the spiral model the spiral model should be used when prototypes are expected large and high budget projects are underway when risk assessment is very critical requirements are not very clearly defined requirements are vague and even complex the organization does not have much experience with that domain and when ample time is available